Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today I'm going to do a little code review for our dependency injection uh, example using the Spring Framework. Uh, what I've done is given you a simple example here where we use a controller to provide uh, a list of products. So right now on the screen I have our product class, that's our, our domain class. Uh, obviously this is just a, a simple example for us to look at, so it's a product with a description. Uh, simple constructor that takes in the the construction uh, the description value. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to provide a, a product service. Okay, I'm using an interface uh, for dependency injection. It it's a best practice whenever you can to actually code to an interface. So uh, that allows you later to uh, provide different implementations of that interface. Um, so you might want to be using a, some type of mock uh, for your, your unit test, uh, a certain implementation for your, your test or your integration test, and then maybe a different implementation when you move your code into production. So there, there's a number of reasons why you want to do this. Um, but our, for our purpose today, we only have uh, one implementation of it. Uh, this is annotated with the service annotation that makes it a, a spring component. Uh, when Spring does a component scan on this package, it will pick that up and, and this will become a managed Spring bean. So um, we have one method in this class called list products. Uh, it, it just makes a, a very simple array list, adds a couple products to it, and then returns that list. So next up here, we're going to take a look at the controller uh, that's annotated at the top of the class with controller. Uh, this also makes it a managed Spring bean. Now, I've declared uh, a private variable, uh, product service, so I'm using the type of the interface, so any uh, class that implements that interface can be injected into this class. And then we're using the auto-wired annotation that tells Spring to provide a, a bean and inject it into this class. Okay, so, so when Spring runs, it will first create a product service implementation, and then when it gets to this class, uh, Spring is going to inject an instance of uh, product service into that class. So here's the code that we're going to use to actually run it. Okay, so I have it annotated as a Spring Boot application that helps bring up the, the Spring context. Um, Spring Boot by default will look within the package that the class is running and do a component scan on that. We are in different packages here, so I need the component scan annotation and within that, I'm telling it to look at within the package guru.spring framework. And this will tell Spring to look through that package and any uh, sub packages uh, for Spring components. Okay, and then in this, in this case, we're getting a handle on Spring context. And then we're asking uh, the context.getbean right here. I'm asking for Spring for an instance of that controller object. So Spring is going to return a fully configured controller object for me. So that controller will be there. Uh, Get products will run. And I am actually going to run this right now as an example so you can see the output. So Spring's bringing it up. We can see Spring Boot, the little header there. And then down in here, we can see that we did, in fact, get two products returned. So there's two products there. We got the different descriptions. If Spring had not wired up that bean correctly, uh, we would have received a null pointer error. So we know that everything worked. So this is a nice, nice little quick example to give you an idea of how to use dependency in injection and the Spring framework. So this concludes our uh, code review of the dependency injection example. If you like what you saw, please head over to my website at springframework.guru. Uh, there you'll you'll find additional posts on on the Spring framework, and I also have a free. Uh, tutorial series on learning the Spring Framework. And uh, if you really enjoyed this, please give us a little social media love. Uh, like this on YouTube or head over to our Facebook page and, and like us there. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks. This is John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru.